the thing we're looking for right now, determine if, if the compressor is on. If the AC on, determine if the compressor clutch is engaged, cycled on. So down here, the compressor clutch should be spinning. It looks like it is. So I think we are engaged, so that's good news. Um, turn the engine in. It doesn't tell me to turn the engine off. Find the AC service port and locate the vehicle's pressure port. Oh, and I'm supposed to run the air conditioner on high. So okay, so one of the steps it says to determine if the compressor is on. This uh, fan belt looks like it's uh, telling us that the compressor is on. We're looking for a little spinning wheel there. And I think it tells us the compressor is on. Um, so we're going to find the service port. Locate the service, the vehicle's low pressure point on the larger diameter aluminum tubing which I believe is right here. Uh, that's, I believe, what we're looking at. So we've located our low pressure port, and we're gonna unscrew it. When it comes off, it's a little bit cool to touch. So we're gonna take that off, and we'll set that cap somewhere where we'll remember to find it. And then the next step is we're going to, uh, we're gonna take this uh, can here, and we're going to measure uh, the pressure. And it says to set the pressure gauge to a point based on the ambient temperature outside, which is around 75 degrees. So I'm gonna set the arrow to 0.75, and then I'm gonna put the cap on it. I'm gonna take a measurement, and it says my pressure is low, so that's a good sign. Uh, it says whatever I'm gonna do here is gonna probably work. So I'm going to then disengage the port, and now it says to, now it says to remove the shipping disc, all right, so now it tells me to unscrew the uh, the top here and remove the um, the dispenser uh, shipping clip here. And I'm going to unscrew this guy so that we can get that off. Now that I've got that done, I throw that to the side. Um, so now we've got the uh, the head removed from the can. We're going to take this and we're going to put it on top of the hose again and it should hear the clip I believe. It seems like it's on there pretty good. The next step um, it says read the uh, read the pressure. Alright now that we've gotten a good reading we're gonna take this off one more time and we're gonna then attach the head of this together with the hose and this is gonna puncture the seal and it's gonna be ready for use. So now that I'm screwing this on we should be ready to start using it in a minute here. I'm not over tightening it. I'll make sure I've got my temperature set. And I'm going to shake it well before using it. So I'm going to shake it quite a bit. Make sure I'm good here. So we're now going to take uh, our hose and we're going to connect it to the port here. I'm going to make sure our line is uh, jacked up. Gonna push it down. Now that we've got it hooked on there, should be hooked. We should be ready to start shooting. Okay, can you get this on here? Huh? As you can see, my low marker shows that I've got low uh, coolant setting uh, or low refrigerant. So my goal is to get that needle all the way up uh, from the white into the green. So I'm going to squeeze for about 10 to 15 seconds and hope that we get everything going the right way here. And we're going to shake it from the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock position while we do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to pause for a minute. And it says we're now in the green territory. It says don't overcharge, but I'm going to use a little bit more of this. You can see how I'm now in the green. And I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to disconnect it for a second here. And then I'm going to check it again just to make sure we're still in the green. Um, if we're in the green, we're good. If we're not, we're not. So I'm going to pop this back on and I'm going to shake it a little bit more. And I'm going to squeeze it a little bit more. And you can see I'm in the green still, so I'm going to put a little bit more refrigerant in there. So I want to make sure I've got this all nice and set. It does say don't overcharge, and I want to be really careful that I don't do that. So about 10 more seconds or so should be good. 
And it's saying we're pretty good there. I'm gonna do it just a little bit more. I'm gonna take a clean reading. I'm gonna take one more clean reading here. Give it a little bit more shaking. Okay, now I'm gonna pop it on one more time. Take a measurement. So we say it's about 75 degrees. You can see we're in the green pretty nicely. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see we're right there in the middle of the green. So I feel pretty good that that's gonna get us what we need. So now I'm gonna disconnect the hose. I'm gonna put my cap back on here. And pretty much, that's all there is to it. So that's really easy. And the big question now is whether or not the car is cooling. So we're going to go sit in the car for a second. And the great part about this project is now that we come inside the car, it's cooling nicely. Way nicer than it was before. We know our project worked. We've got everything going and we still have some refrigerant we can use for the next time. If there's a leak or something like that, I'll just shoot some more in there until I get it back up to normal. But we should be riding pretty for the summer here, so this should be pretty good. Uh, another project done by DIY Nate. Thanks for the help from my camera girl DIY page, and see you next time. Okay, let's kill it. All right, thanks for watching this DIY Nate and DIY page video. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, DIY page.